So my second upload today on the 5th of December is um, a follow-up not just from the intrusion of mental health professionals as a means or a ploy to inhibit my right to freedom. Um, with all the wrongdoings that I've been experiencing, it wouldn't surprise me what I could ever be confronted with um, since 2017. Um, the experiences of um, wrongdoings and violations has highlighted how rules are being broken, laws are being broken, violations and wrongdoings easily perpetrated. Um, I've established I'm a victim of sexual assault and revenge porn since over a decade ago. Um, these latest um, assaults of my human rights and constitutional rights um, just proves uh, the depths and lengths that people are prepared to uh, go to just to uh, cause me these problems. Um, I've also established that the ombudsman have uh, ignored all the wrongdoings that I've been experiencing. I've established that my legal rights have been violated. Um, I've established that my privacy has been violated and that my personal information um, has also been interfered with. Um, seems as I'm not getting any support from local authorities and seems as uh, supports and services are being obstructed uh, by the culprits that are trying very hard to uh, upset my family life and my career etc with the um, outrageous ridiculous comments that they're making like the defamation that has been published um, on line and in different forms of media um, is just highlighting how this situation is and exactly what tactics the culprits are using to defame my character and reputation. So their means of avoiding the consequences for doing so is by um, withholding my legal aid unlawfully and um, without reason and also from interfering with um, private legal um, advice that I've tried to uh, seek in this situation. Um, so it seems as I'm not getting any support from the authorities that are ignoring the situation. Um, besides the tactic of using mental health professionals as a means to violate my right to freedom, um, as a victim, this is how serious it is. When a person is, after being violated, um, by means of privacy and by means of personal information and whatnot, um, and knowing the extent of trouble that has been caused already, as I've said, with what I've been confronted with already since 2017, it wouldn't surprise me the uh, ploys and tactics that the said same individuals would utilise to cause me further injustice. This means that as a victim without supports and as a deserted wife without my legal rights being acknowledged and as a victim of constitutional wrongdoings and medical negligence especially, um, I'm uploading and sharing how dangerous the culprits of this human rights assault actually are. Um, morals are out the window. Morals have been completely ignored. Um, the currency of um, this situation is um, dirty deeds being done dirt cheap. Um, the cost of the damage caused far exceeds the cost of compensating the damages done. Um, the senselessness of the violations 
and the unjustifiable cause for the violations and defamation that I've experienced is incomprehensible. The loss of earnings and the loss of um, career opportunities damages done to my career, my physical health, physical injuries, my character, my reputation with the people that are involved saying and uh, doing what they like basically and pulling every uh, trick in the book, you know, um, to cause these problems and this embarrassing situation, whether they realise it or not, because it's common knowledge, it might be, you know, hoodwinked and uh, turned a blind eye to but as a married woman deserted wife with property involved and the serious constitutional wrongdoings being perpetrated this is a very obvious situation um so i think if it was any wealthy businessman up the country um that was being abducted or being bribed or being you know the guards would be on to that situation straight away but I've been isolated intentionally in this situation and my constitutional rights have all been violated and my safety has been violated by the culprits that are up to no good, basically, and that have caused the most serious situations for society. Um, this means that as a victim of individuals that have no respect for my constitutional rights or human rights, that have been defaming me publicly and violating my right to medicine, treatment, um, career, family, um, safety, etc. The 29 human rights violations that they have already perpetrated um, and are obviously not being amended or corrected or rectified um could only lead me to think that the very same culprits aren't prepared to you know give it a break or you know confront the wrongdoings that they've done so um i hope charlie flanagan simon harris leo vradker <laughs> The government understand that as an innocent woman and as a victim of other people's crimes that they have failed to prioritise safety in society, women's health and the constitutional rights of every citizen in this country that they have ignored since 2017 all the wrongdoings and violations that I've experienced is a very sad sign of the times. And as regards the spiritual violence I've experienced, it's an even more sad sign of the times. Um, so if it's not too late, and especially it being Christmas, I would really appreciate it if there would be some decent, respectable politician in this country to actually defend the constitutional rights of Emer Griffin McElligot before there's any further wrongdoings or violations being perpetrated. Because as I've said, I know who my culprits are. I know who the people are that are doing this to me. I know what their agenda is. And I know what they've done. And I know that they have no justifiable reason for the injustice that they've perpetrated against me. Hate crime, in the most blatant and brazen fashion, has been senselessly and shamelessly perpetrated in Tralee County Kerry for no good reason at all. So, on the 5th of December, um, as a victim, isolated, without support or services from authorities, um, and seems as my legal rights are being obstructed, and seems as civil liberties uh, support and services are being obstructed, and seems that there's been so unjust, so much injustice already. I sincerely hope that authorities and politicians would have the good sense 
to uh, confront these wrongdoings before facilitating any further violations of my rights because um, my losses have been quite high. The cost of damages and injuries perpetrated against me are also very high. So just by withholding my legal rights and entitlements um, as a means to prevent me from attaining what I'm entitled to is another poor tactic. Um, for this injustice to be even happening and these violations to be occurring doesn't say much about the government of this day. And it doesn't say much either about the authorities when a victim of sexual assault, revenge porn, domestic violence, constitutional wrongdoings, hate crime, etc. is being isolated, undermined, disrespected in this situation and as a law-abiding citizen, I might add, not with any criminal offences perpetrated anywhere against anyone and not any good reason for any of this to be occurring. I really sincerely hope, especially since there's been so much spiritual violence and bodily integrity violations perpetrated against me, that the authorities and politicians and the civil liberty agencies confront this issue because I'm not the only one this has been happening to and it's unacceptable in any respectable society, especially in a 21st century democracy.